Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Um, this video is a kind of a um, inspired by a video I saw by JDRD30 not too long ago. Uh, it's a video response of his. Uh, I don't recall the particulars, but it's uh, about women in gaming. And uh, so that's not what I'm going to talk about. But he made one of these generalizations, and, and he said with full uh, disclosure, he didn't mean all women are like this. But on average, uh, that women tend to be a lot less interested in the rules. Uh, and a lot more interested in just playing their character, like what is my character like, you know, what, what do I want to do, all that sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, my, uh, my own observations have been pretty close to that, um, that that's more likely. And, and to be honest with you, I, uh, I kind of like that better. And, you know, I forget who actually posted or commented on that video, but I, I was going to say the same thing, that essentially it's not just um, female gamers, but there's, there's a camp of gamers that are much more into um, rules, and, you know, how can I optimize things and all this sort of stuff. And there's a bunch of people that are really into just like, I want to play this game. I want to have some fun. Um, I want to uh, have my, you know, what, why is my character doing this? And I, I just want to do this. I don't care what the rules say. I'm not interested in that. Um, and so for me, you know, one of the things that I, I've, you know, come to the conclusion uh, more and more over time is I want the rules to be as invisible as possible. Um, and this is probably why I'm a little resistant to trying new things and trying new systems. Because, to be honest, you know, when I was about 13 years old, I learned the rules to Dungeons and Dragons. And, you know, the real simple rules, like there are six stats, these are their names. You know, if you want to hit somebody, you have to roll a d20 and hit this number. Um, you know, if you have to, um, if something really bad is about to happen, you have to roll a saving throw and you have to hit this number on a d20. Um, if you want to do something that requires some kind of skill, you have a, a, a blank and blank chance. Either you have like a you know 35 and 100 chance, or you have a two and six chance, or whatever it is. You know, go go do that. Um, you know, really they're really simple kind of rules. But um, after a while, I, I knew what they were. I knew the basic lingo. Um, and then after that, everything else just kind of evaporated into the background. You know, you can only cast this many spells a day. You, know, you can't you can't if you're a magic guy, you can't just you know do magic things at will. There's some kind of rules around that. But then it kind of went into the background, and then you know. Uh, over time, like, you just play the game, and that, that's the way I like the game to be, is when we hardly really look at the rules. I mean, obviously, we're not going to memorize all the stats on boats and what to do in, a, you know, a, uh, an aerial encounter and all that stuff. That's why you open the book and look. But for the most part, you know, I, I, I like that kind of game. I like playing with people that aren't gamers uh, because they don't think like gamers. They don't think about uh, the rules and the stats and everything. They just say, you know, once they get the hang, well, I want to do this. And if you, you help them look at the spot on their character sheet, you know, that's great. Sometimes, you know, I can tell whether I want to learn how to play a game or not based on what the character sheet looks like. If the character sheet has a ton of numbers and stats on it, I'm less interested. Uh, and if it's really simple and there's very very little on it, then I'm a lot more interested in learning how to play that game. But, uh, you know, even even now, and I have to fight this uh, instinct, uh, if, if the names of the stats are different or like some of the mechanics are wildly different than, you know, what I'm used to, uh, in my first um, gut level reaction is, is not to want to do it because I'm going to have to now remember how to do um, role playing differently and take it from a different angle in terms of the mechanics. And at this point, you know, I don't I don't care how um, and to use JDR 30s example, I don't care how what, how the car runs, but I know if I turn the key and step on this pedal, it goes forward, and I can steer this little wheel and I can make it go left or right. Um, I don't want to know how I don't want to have to um, remember another set of mechanics on why this engine works. Um, that doesn't say, you know, that's just my personality, and that's something I have to work with when I try new role-playing games. But I also liked the, you know, the idea that in any role-playing game, the rules should be just about inv invisible. It's kind of weird because if, if you watch a lot of my videos, they're about rules. But for the most part, they're about making them as simple um, and as easy to uh, implement as possible, so then I don't have to worry about them at all.